What is up guys, so in 2017 there seems to be a huge influx of diss tracks and other music videos on YouTube created by YouTubers themselves. Some of these have been praised a lot by their fans, while on the other hand a lot of these even have more dislikes on the music videos than likes. In this situation we're going to be counting the 5 most hated diss track slash music videos on YouTube. So some of your favourite YouTubers may be in this video. We have the likes of Jake Paul, Rice Gum, KSI, The Sidemen, Tanner Fox, all people like that. So if you enjoy this video leave a like on it and we're really close to 1 million subscribers so subscribing is very very much appreciated. So hope you enjoyed this one and let's get straight in to today's video. So the first YouTuber to graciously be on this list is Deji also known as Comedy Shorts Gamer. With over 7 million subscribers this guy is definitely not a small YouTuber. So this guy has earned his fame mostly off his big brother known as KSI. But undoubtedly, he has also done his fair amount of things on his main channel to make him become popular. He's got a very likeable personality and he's quite loud, which is quite popular on YouTube. If you're loud in YouTube videos, it just grabs people's attention more and it gains you more subscribers pretty much. But he's good at making his videos. Maybe not his thumbnails because his thumbnails aren't very good. But anyway, that's not what we're talking about today. This diss track wasn't the worst ever, but most of the disses that he actually threw out were just like stupid stereotypes like uh, calling Ethan who is another YouTuber fat and saying that they're gay and pretty much these didn't really cut or insult them really that badly and it just wasn't amazingly well put together even though it did cost thousands of pounds to make or dollars to make it wasn't the best one and it actually got a lot of dislikes on the video Fuck Rockstar, whatever they're calling This life was set to me so your master's gone. So you think to try to step to me? Send another tweet and get an arrow to the knee. You white head twat, you're a pussy cat. You're scared of beef. You run a mover like Chief Keith. What? You're a runt, you're just a white head motherfucker. If you try to step to me, I'll slip inside your mother. Yes, you did hear right at the beginning. Next up, we actually do have KSI and his not newest diss track, but the one he uploaded on August 12th known as Earthquake. This was a diss track towards Ethan, one of the Cybermen. Now this video got nearly 8 million views in one single day, which is ridiculous. But unfortunately it just didn't live up to the hype that people were expecting. Now it did get really popular, but unfortunately this diss track wasn't really that amazing compared to the rest that have been made. For example, Roach Shaw made a diss track within like a few hours and that was probably better than this one in terms of this is and how good it was and what people thought of it. So because it didn't live up to that hype, this uh, this track does have over 230,000 dislikes and it does include rice gum and some of the disses were actually towards Team 10 as well. So it was kind of all over the place. It was very well uh, choreographed and put together and they even got an Ethan lookalike or a Bazinga lookalike to actually play a part. But yeah, it was not really that good if I'm completely honest. But his newest diss track was a lot better. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> you know if I do, bro. You know. Beat my shit, so take the shit, your content shit, your Twitch shit, your grammar shit. I find a hell of funny little girl to help save your shit. You really are pussy. <laughs> Tell me, are you clean or a pussy? Don't fuck with you or that dumb one Ohio nigga. I took aim and I pulled the trigger. In the end, tell me who'll be bigger. Yeah, yeah, no, you need. So this next song or diss track comes from the 10 million subscriber YouTuber Jake Paul. This video got over 17.5 million views and it is Jake Paul's YouTube star diss track. Now even though the word diss track is in the video, he puts a disclaimer at the start saying this isn't a diss track. So there's so much wrong in this video and it's warranted the video with 490,000 dislikes which is ridiculous. It's probably one of the most hated videos on YouTube. It has got more likes than dislikes, but it's still got a huge amount of dislikes. A lot of people hated this song because he was basically playing the victim card throughout the whole song and it just didn't make a lot of sense. He was kind of bragging as well as trying to play a victim and it just wasn't really, you know, it just wasn't, it didn't really make a lot of sense basically. So this is what came next. It's probably more hated than it's every day, bro, if that's even possible, but is that in the video or not? You have to find out. 
They want me to lose, want me in the noose, but they ain't tell the truth. Trying to drag my name, trying to stop my game. Don't know the pain, bitch, I know the pain. Man, where was y'all at when I was on the email? Trying to stop the press fans from killing them. So next up, we have Tanner Fox's song known as We Do It Best. Now, this is kind of a blatant attempt of Tanner Fox kind of making a YouTube video. So if you don't know who Tanner Fox is, he has 5.6 million subscribers. And he made this song a couple of weeks ago. It has 19.9 million views, and it gets on average about 500,000 views a day. It's doing quite well, to be honest, but it has 261,000 dislikes, pretty much for a couple of reasons. One, because he did diss another huge YouTuber known as Rice Gum in the video, and two, it wasn't the best song in the world, and three, he has like his girlfriend in the video and a lot of people saying she is a gold digger and that she had a better verse than the main person in the video should have. And it's just a huge hot mess basically. So uh, yeah, he dissed a lot of people in this video for absolutely no reason and pretty much it, the dislike bar really looks kind of odd at the moment. So have a look and see if it's justified for yourselves. But. It does have 393,000 likes and 261,000 dislikes. Ah, uh, this is your captain speaking. Today's forecast is looking a little hot because this song's about to be fire as fuck. We got Dylan Matthew, Taylor Alicia, and myself, Little Fox, at your service. So sit back, grab some popcorn, and enjoy the show. We did it first. Little Fox, a little hot because this song's about to be fire as fuck. Okay, so it's down to the moment you've all been waiting for. Obviously, at number one, we have Everyday Bro by Jake Paul. Now, what saddens me is that Jake Paul actually hosted the Teen Choice Awards yesterday. Um, I just don't know. I just don't think they could have picked anyone any better than him. He's got, like, the best reputation in the world. He doesn't disturb his neighbours or anything. And, of course, I'm being completely sarcastic right now. I don't know, it's just he's got such a bad reputation and I don't understand after all of that he's done why he's hosting the Teen Choice Awards. But anyway, that happened yesterday and they performed their song It's Every Day Bro and it was just, I don't know, there was a lot wrong with it. Anyway, the original video has over 90 million views now, it's gone ridiculously viral for some reason and it has 2.2 million dislikes, it has way more dislikes on the video than likes and a lot of people do actually hate this song so let me know how badly you hate it or if you're a Jake Paul fan let me know why you like it because it will be a very interesting conversation to have in the comments section Thank you all so much for watching guys, let me know what your most hated YouTube song is or what song on YouTube you hate the most, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one, goodbye.